and we're back with another lesson and today we're going to look at multiplication and division of whole numbers. We're going to jump straight into this lesson and as per usual I'm going to set out the rules, I'll show you the method and then I'll do a couple of examples. After that you should be sorted. First set of rules that we have, and this only applies when we multiply or divide, is the following. When we have a positive and a positive, multiply or divide, then we get a positive. When our first number has a positive, our second number has a negative, and we multiply or divide, the outcome of the sign will be a negative. When we have a negative, we multiply and divide by a negative, our outcome will be a positive. And this only applies when we multiply or divide. We mustn't get confused when it comes to adding and subtracting. It's a whole different set of rules. Now we're going to look into the method of actually adding and subtracting the whole numbers. We're only going to do two things here. First thing we do is we're going to multiply or divide the sign. Second thing we're going to do is to multiply or divide the number. So two things and then we're done. Let's look at the following example. Three multiplied by negative four. According to our method, number one says that we need to multiply or divide the sign. So let's do that. Here we have a positive. And here we have a negative. So what does our sign rule say? When we have a positive and a negative, our outcome will be a negative. And we write our negative. Second step is to multiply or divide the numbers. We multiply in this case. So I multiply 3 with 4. And that will be equal to 12. Let's do another example. In this case we have negative 3 multiplied by negative 4. Step number 1 multiply the sign. In this case, we have a negative and a negative. Let's look at our sign rules. Here it says a negative. Multiply with a negative is a positive. We have a positive. Step number two, multiply, divide the number. So we multiply three times four. And in this case, it's going to be positive 12. Just check the difference. Let's have one more example. Five multiplied by negative four. Step number one, Multiply the sign. Here we have a positive. Here we have a negative. What does our rule say? A positive and a negative. Outcome is negative. Step number two. Multiply the numbers. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Let's look at an example where we're going to divide now. So we have 25 divided by negative 5 or minus 5. Same rules apply. We look at our signs positive and a negative, and we look at our sign rules, we have a positive and a negative, and the outcome is going to be negative. After that, we divide the numbers. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. One final example. Minus 30 divided by 10. We're first going to look at the sign. Here's our sign rules, a negative, and here's a positive in front of this 10. What does a negative and a positive give me? It gives me a negative. Step number two, divide the numbers. 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3. And that's our answer, negative 3. So that's how we do it. We first need to look at our sign rules. And then we just apply these two simple steps. I'm out. 